filming? Yep, that's filming. Really new phone, I'm not sure how to use it. Okay. Well, Say hi girls! Hi! Hi girls! We're on our way on another Cali Camp trip. Yeah, yes. to the this, seaside. This time we're going down to uh, the Ligurian coast. We have money at Mummy's birthday weekend. It's a big birthday for Mummy. Oh, thank you. We've got this electric bike to tow a new trolley, a Holly trolley. Yeah, we've got a new trailer for Holly, which will help and her. And we can fold it up and down, so it doesn't need to stay always up. We can fold it. That's right. It. So it's a trailer that goes behind the electric bike. So the idea is to cycle along the coastline with uh, all of us and stopping for a swim here and there. Yes, that shall be my idea of a perfect birthday. Yeah. So, yeah, let's get going. Let's do it. About halfway. How's it going, girls? You're right in the back. So we've just arrived at our campsite and we've had the usual discussion as to where's best to park because it's a very busy weekend in Liguria and there's not many places to uh, park um, but we've got this one here which is quite nice we've got uh, the campsites uh, said we can use that gazebo and the table and chairs as usual it's you know the van needed le leveling a little bit that's good yeah, all good. Hi! 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 And actually it's pretty nice because we've got our own little uh, fenced off area. <laughs> good. Someone's got the barbecue going. Smells good. And there's the coast down there. Uh, one of our subscribers asked whether or not it's a faff to take this seat out or not every time. Because it's a five seater, uh, we've got this, uh, to make it five seater, there's this occasional fifth seat here, which is fastened into the rails. But it means that uh, when you want to turn it into a living space, you have to remove it. Um, so, in answer to the question, it is a little bit of a faff, but it's a compromise that we have. Um, so, initially, you have to move the carpet out of the way. Izzy, can you move out of the way, please? Good girl. So, just slide that forward. So what are you doing there? So I'm pulling the lever up, making sure uh, I'm getting the feet within these spaces here so the whole thing will lift out here in here and then it, it lifts out like that. The only thing is it weighs, I would say, as a guess, I don't know, 35, 40 kilos. It's pretty heavy, isn't it? So it is heavy and yes, it's a bit of a faff. Tomorrow when we go out, I'll show you putting it back in because we are leaving the camp with all five of us to come back. Um, so yeah, it is a bit of a pain, but it's sort of the price you pay. But I've got a question. Oh. Is it harder to get it in or out? To be honest, it's easier to, to take it out because you've actually got gravity helping you. Do you remember what gravity is? What's it's when you stay on the ground. That's right. So the gravity is slowing it down. So I've got to try and put it back in tomorrow into that slot. Um, so it is harder to put it back in. You can see the... And there's the holes that it goes in. There is some plastic caps which fit over here if you want to, but if you're going to use it again soon, we don't bother with that. We just put the carpet back over it. There we go. And we're going to take Poppy's seat off there and then just sit there tonight with a nice glass of something.
Are you going to put your seatbelt on? Just in case. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Peace time. Curry for tea tonight. And Poppy is now walking and is an early terrible two, aren't you? All right, Poppy wasn't even walking about three days ago. And now we've brought her on the first camping trip since she's been walking. She's done this. And she doesn't stop. And now she's like a little monkey and trying to climb the railings. A clever little adapter, okay. which you can plug into the mains in Italy. Um, there are two different types of socket, and uh, it's always the one you haven't that got. Doesn't go in there. Yeah. So you need an adapter like this with three small pins. They do large pins as well, but this one is for a small, small one that then goes to two fat uh, ones to the sort of standard one if you want it. So it's an adapter. You can then put that one in. It looks like a fire hazard. Okay, <laughs> and then you put our trailing lead to the camper into that one. Say hi. Hi. Say hi, Pops. So, Holly, where do you sleep? You sleep up top. Where does Izzy sleep? Up top. But it's not quite safe enough for Poppy yet to go up there with them as well. So we came up with another solution, which we found on eBay. And it's basically a hammock that goes across the front two seats of the car. So it gives her her own bed. And she can stay in that for a long time because it holds quite a heavy weight. I think it's about 70 kilos. And it goes across the seats here and it rests on the door ledges. It just goes to the steering wheel and to that window and that's, and that's yeah. how long it is. So we'll put it together now. Yeah, so it's in this bag and um, it's just a few poles and a bit of fabric. So we'll set it up and show you how it works. It's made by... Um, bespoke V dubs. It's very nice to carry. There, so that's great, isn't it? Is that comfortable there, is? Yeah, it's really comfortable. It's a bit like a hammock, but it doesn't swing. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> We're going to pack up and move on. Okay. Oh, she's hugging. Yeah. Yeah. You're quite there, aren't you? Yeah. Oh, that's so cute. She she was a bit restless last night, wasn't she? But we managed to get her settled. Hello, Hoppy. Uh, Holly, did you have a nice sleep? Yes, I got my sports day book. It's your new favourite book at the moment, isn't it? I got it as a favourite well, book. I have my new favourite book. It is actually quite a grown up book. I have lots of favourite ones. So here the girls are doing some washing up. Poppy's washing up the, she's cleaning the sink from the underneath. <laughs> so we're in the middle of just packing away and we're heading off uh, to go and do some cycling along the coast. And then we've just booked um, another campsite tonight down by the coast. Right, so this is putting the seat back in and it's not easy, I must admit, but it's doable. <laughs> See underneath here, what you're trying to do is match up these feet. And then drop it in, lift the lever, and it's in. That was quite easy actually. Yeah, yeah it's just heavy. It's super cool, dude, Dizzy. <laughs>
Joe's making some lunch or picnic for us to take. If I say get bananas, good Ah. So here's the new electric bike. You can see I've taken the battery off uh, whilst it was on the bike rack, just to save a bit of weight. And Holly, because she can't ride a bike yet, she's inside there. We've got a tow bar attachment for the uh, Holly trolley to go on. You can see it fastens onto there. And then when we stop somewhere, you can um, take that wheel off, put it on the other way around, and it becomes a buggy. So this is the uh, Tule Coaster XT. It can take 45 kilos of payload, which is enough for Holly plus Poppy just about. And we've got enough room in the back for our sandwiches. That goes on pretty well, and that's it. And then you press the on button here, and that says we're on um, power assist level three, which is the maximum. I'm pretty sure it'll stay on that all day. It tells you 100% battery, which on level three gives us 28 kilometers or 27 kilometers. Uh, that's if you're using the assist the whole time. So you probably do 50 kilometers or so on full assist um, with uphill and down dale a bit. So, right, let's uh, get it hitched up. That's it. So Poppy's on the back of me. I'm behind. Izzy's behind. Got the electric bike and Holly in the back with all our sandwiches. Oh, well inside the tunnel it's cool, it's really nice and cool and you get the occasional drip of water. Oh, come on, come the other way and we should have our lights on. So we've just stopped on our lovely bike ride at this beach here and we're going to just look at the bikes. It's beautiful here. Lovely day. It's okay. like the busiest yeah. day of the year so far though, so everything's rammed. But um, yeah, we're just going to look at the bikes here and we've just converted the buggy into a trailer. It's got the pit, picnic in the boot and all the beach stuff, so we're going to go down to the beach now. You having fun there? Lovely. Holly, are you playing? What are you doing, Pops? Yeah. Playing with the stones. <laughs> <laughs> you got ice cream around your mouth, Pops. <laughs> you got all the rocks. Yes. We've done our little trip to the beach and we're now going back along Lungomare Europa back to the camper. Had a great swim, ice cream and we rented some sunbeds and we, with that we got our own little changing room and toilets and things which is great. After the bike ride we've just um, looked on park for night and found this 
campsite right by the water. There is a private beach, or there's a railway line in between. But we didn't book. Hello, yes. But we didn't book. We just put, came in and uh, we managed to get a space right by uh, the water. So before we set up, we're just going to go and check out the beach and the facilities. It's costing, uh, well, it's 41 euros for the night for all of us, including electric, and another three euros to have the pitch by side, beside the sea. So 44 euros. So yeah, there's a train track there, but it wasn't too bad. Oh, there's two little monkeys now. <laughs> Morning, Poppy. Papa. Yeah? Where's the other yum yum? You got two? <laughs> Have you got two dummies? Um... <laughs> but behind the other one is the thing where... Yeah. <laughs> so it is good having this bed here, but she's found the uh, lever for the lights and she was flashing the headlights last night. <laughs> no. And now, but fortunately, she hasn't found the horn yet. That would really wake up all the campers, wouldn't it? And then she's tried to lower the roof last night as well. She's up. Yeah. I know what it is. Oh, look, who's that, Poppy? Poppy and Lee. That's lovely. Isn't that nice? It's Peppa. Who's on there, kid? Here you go. What's that for? Okay, good girl. Joe and Holly are doing the washing up. That's good, isn't it? A toy camper. You got a toy camper? How many people can you get in it? One, two, three. And then there's some beds as well, isn't it? They go on top. Yes. In the roof. Yes. And that's cool. Dead mummy. Hey, hello. Hello. Look at that. Who's winning? Uh, I uh, <laughs> got four, he got four. But he's a lucky game. Ah, uh, he's lucky. Are you having luck? We're having a real lazy afternoon, which is fantastic. I'm slowly just packing away now. Is he still playing? Holly's nipped to the loo. And Joe is doing something she's been looking forward to doing for ages, and that's yeah. sitting and relaxing. Mm -hmm. And you're painting the seaside, aren't you? These padded window blinds do an awesome job, so it was kept it cool. Um, we have bought the thermal uh, cursor screen for the top, um, which we're really going to look forward to using. Because when the sun was on the fabric, um, directly, it was getting a little bit warm up there, but a lot cooler noticeably in the in the uh, sort of cab area. Poppy has been asleep in the back and is just chilling now, aren't you? Hello. All right, pops. Oh. Thank you. What are you doing then? Are you chilling? Are you watching Izzy play? We're just leaving our campsite, um, heading home. It's about half past five, and we should be home by about eight o'clock, hopefully. Everybody have a good time? Yeah. Yeah. Izzy, do you have a good time? Yeah. So we're all a bit tired now, but we've had a lovely day, haven't we? It's been, really it's nice been so relaxing. Um, we went to the beach this morning, just walked round, and we've been 
uh, has a nice little yeah, like a little barbecue where yeah. you're in, um... and we just relax and the kids have been playing and it's been really nice and chilled and we don't want to leave but we've got to go home now school tomorrow <laughs> Oh, so we get a Burger King before we go home. <laughs> yes, Burger King as she calls it. I, I did think we could possibly pop into Burger King on the way home. Uh, should we just ring the changes and go to McDonald's instead? <laughs> yeah. So uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we're going to be doing lots more trips. Yep, next, uh, this summer we've got uh, lots of travelling around Cornwall and Norfolk. And then we're going to do a trip down the Rhine in Germany yeah from Dusseldorf down to Baden-Baden probably yes um, that's what we want to do and we want to visit the um, the renowned um, camp caravan and camping show in Dusseldorf in August so yeah. we're gonna have a look at all sorts of new campers there and uh, see what the kids opinions are of certain campers yeah. I've never been to a camper show, so no, not at all. We're looking forward to that. I hope, hopefully, we won't fall in love with anything else. Right, see you on the next video. Bye. Say bye. bye.